now the Oakland Raiders have made another interesting selection. They took the burner, the fastest guy of any position in this draft, Darius Hayward Bay, interestingly, very high in the first round. And now they've taken a safety, Michael Mitchell, safety from Ohio U. He didn't go to Combine. All-star games, no. They had to see a game or a workout individually that wowed them over. What else could it be? They might not know now, but they're going to find out what the Oakland Raiders and Ohio Bobcat fans already know. Mike Mitchell is a special football player who's heading to the NFL. Hey, they looking for a fight. They got one. We bringing it to them. Let's go. Let's go. In one moment, his life has changed forever. The Raiders drafted him in the second round as the 47th pick in the 2009 NFL Draft. Mitchell will always be a Bobcat, but now he's a Raider. I was sitting there at about pick 40, my agent called me and was like, you know, Mike, uh, Chicago just called and said, keep your phone close, I think they're going to take you at 49. So I'm sitting there thinking, I'm getting ready to be a Chicago Bear. You know, I don't want to tell anybody in my family, you know, so I don't want to be disappointed if it doesn't happen, but I, in my head, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go to Chicago. Pick 47 rolls around, you know, I'm getting a phone call, and, uh, you know, I see my name up on the screen, and it's Coach Cable saying, Mike, you ready to be an Oakland Raider? And I was like, yes, sir, and, uh, you know, it went from there. He wasn't invited to the pre-draft combine, so in order to catch the eye of the decision makers, Double M had to go to them. Uh, I was sitting here, and when the combine invite came out, you know, I didn't get an invite, and I said, wow, they really don't think I'm, you know, a good safety. Well, in my next couple workouts for these next 12 weeks, I'm going to go as hard as I possibly can, and I'm going to blow up my pro day. And I was able to train really hard, uh, get good sleep, get good food, and uh, and I was able to perform well on my pro day. I didn't hit up hurting my hamstring, but I still ran so well. The team said, this is a big, fast dude that is athletic. And, you know, I'm just, I just feel 100% blessed right now. I'm just giving all the honor and all the glory to God because I know it was no one but him that helped me get here. His time at Athens is done, but he says he'll fondly remember his playing days at Ohio and one person in particular who was instrumental in his development, Bobcat defensive coordinator Jimmy Burrow. You know, if I, if I had to rank it, it would go God, my dad, and then Coach Burrows. Uh, he was just an awesome guy. I had a great time playing for him uh, under his scheme and his defense. He asked me to do a lot of things, but... And sometimes it was frustrating, but at the end of the day, it ended up making me more marketable and more valuable because I was able to do a lot of different things that you know, some guys can't do. So He was drafted and drafted high, so the national media's opinion of Mitchell doesn't really matter. The speedy, hard-hitting Kentucky kid is going to let his talent do the talking. So as Mike begins the next chapter of his life, the current Bobcats are getting ready for the 2009 season when the University of Connecticut's Huskies invade Peden Stadium on September the 5th. Connecticut has two players drafted, Ohio U1, Oklahoma, and Notre Dame zero. zero. Mike Mitchell is proof positive that those that play and succeed at Ohio University can make their NFL dreams come true. Congratulations, Mike. Good luck in Oakland. For Evan Shaw, I'm Russ Eisenstein, and this is Bobcat TV.